All right, so I've got sodium polyacrylate, and I'm going to add about two grams. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little two grams. Now, I was thinking that this could be a good thing. I don't know if you've got brothers or sisters who are at uh, colleges or universities right now. And for whatever reason, if you have heard, you might have heard that at college universities, um, well, uh, they tend to um, ingest a lot of liquids, okay, in big gatherings. I haven't quite figured that out myself. I'm going to have to study that. But they love liquids, okay? And I think some of those liquids are diuretics, which means they, they make, you know, the water come out even more. So you can dehydrate yourself drinking liquids. So in any case, I thought this would be a nice little thing I could uh, try to sell maybe or market, that you have a little pouch. I'm not sure what you would call it. Grotsky pouch, I'm not really sure. But in any case, what happens, I guess, at these places where they're, they're drinking copious amounts of liquids or matter in liquid form is that they have to wait in line to go to, um, to excrete, okay? Now, uh, now, for those who don't know what I'm saying, go to the bathroom. So the problem is what happens is people actually get uh, records. They start their, um, they get uh, arrested for public uh, sus things because they have to go and they don't want to wait in line. Um, so maybe, I don't know if this is going to stop any of this, but maybe it'll stop the type of things that are happening on the neighbors who live in areas where they gather to drink these copious amounts of liquids. So I'm thinking that if you've got to go, you might have this pouch, this pouch on you, okay? And what you do is you pour about two grams, and I'm estimating, on a flat surface. Okay, that's about two grams, I'm guessing. And, of course, you put that two grams, and you make a little indentation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, um, well, if you can use your imagination, um, you're going to what? You're going to go. Now, I've got... I've got... Um, more, uh, a little less than two liters. Wait, is that real pee? Well, we would say urine or excretion, okay? All right? Well, come on now. Does it? That actually looks like it. Complete with the foam, right? Yeah, that looks so All right. Man, do I feel better! Okay. Now, it's not smoking or anything. Now, what you do is you find a level surface, of course. You, you make yourself a little indentation, it's smoking. okay, <laughs> and you go. This is really warm. Is that what you said over there before? Okay, then you go. Well, it's absorbing the what? The excretion. All right. He's not feeling well, or she's not. It's steaming. <laughs> okay. And you go. And you go. And you getting hot here. And you go. Now wait a minute. If I'm going, if I have two grams of this, and this this polymer will absorb 800 times its own mass in water. If I've got 200 grams of this, how many grams of water can it absorb? 1,600. And we know the density of water is one gram per what? So how many milliliters is that? 1,600 milliliters. And how many, how many liters is that? Okay. 1,600 milliliters. How many? How many? Almost. 106. Well, 1,000 what? A thousand, here guys, a thousand milliliters is a liter. Two thousand milliliters, right, is two liters. So I've got like 1.6. And you go. Now, of course, this is like racehorse type of thing here. All right. And you go. And you go. <laughs> This is her excretion. There you go. It's a lake. There you go. But you're now not ruining those people's flowers, okay? 
I haven't worked out all the details. And there you go. It is a little pouch, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just the chemist behind this. The marketing people have to get the work this. Okay, so that somewhat absorbed about 1.6 liters of excretion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or yellow water with a little bit of what? Foam on top, okay? <laughs> oh well. I, any case, now you say, what do I do now? Because now I've got this, this uh, polymer mess. Well, in that little kit, that little pouch, you unfold it. Okay, and it comes out to about this size. <laughs> okay? And you pick it up as a good citizen. You just don't leave it on someone's bushes. You pick it up. Now, it may take some technique. I've worked out all, all the. Um, all the things, but you just you use your technique, you go, okay, and there you go, okay, and then you dump it in the trash, okay, and that's how you are a good citizen if you go to places with copious amounts of food, you ingest it, okay. so the point of this is that a centimeter cube is what we learned and dealt with last time. Yesterday, in our last lab, or previously, we dealt with centimeters cubed. And here is a cube of centimeter. Okay? <laughs> My son's village was raided. Okay, now, um, this is one little cube. It's a centimeter cubed. That's what you guys, that's what you guys found last time. Now, a centimeter cubed you fill a centimeter cubed up, it's one of these missing little cubes, a centimeter by centimeter, equals one milliliter. So centimeter cubed equals one milliliter of, of volume. How many centimeter cubes do I have here? I have 10 by 10 by 10. So 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, right, Juliet? Well, yeah, I guess I am missing one, but let's pretend it's there. Let's be, let's pretend it's there. It'd be a thousand cubic centimeters. And what would this equal? What would this equal? A, a thousand cubic centimeters. If one cubic centimeter, my friends, equals a uh, a milliliter, what does one of those equal? What does one of those equal? I don't have it. You're looking at a liter, guys. That's a liter. If one milliliter will fill in one cubic centimeter, how many milliliters would fit in this square? A thousand. So this is the volume of one liter, thousand cubic centimeters. It looks weird because why? We're not used to seeing a soda can as a square. And two of these is a two liter. All right, so it's unit volume relatives. 